I'm going to show you in this video how to use um, a field box or a network analyzer to find the best uh, working frequency for a particular antenna. So just imagine out in the field, um, you got an antenna from your technician, from your engineer saying that, look, this use this antenna to do the measurements and you try as you might be, you, can't, you couldn't get the signal as you want. So this is one of the best time to check um, the performance of your antenna. So currently, as you can see right now, I have two, uh, one antenna here connected to port one, and the other one is connected through uh, another antenna through a jumper cable, and this is the one. Okay. So um, first of all, if you have just a cat, uh, cable antenna test uh, features uh, in FieldFox, so we only work with uh, port one. So let's go to VSWR and let's go to marker functions, marker tools, and this is the menu that you're getting. And then menu, more, and then min search. Where's my min search? Yep. So as of now, this is a web antenna, it's um, retractable, so you can actually, um, yeah. So with that, the shortest amount, the best performance is at 265 Mac at the VSWR of 1.083. So you see that the moment I touch the antenna or get near to the antenna, it changes the VSWR. So one thing to be aware of is that when you do this measurement, even though you're out in the field, try to be stay away from any metal stuff um, that is not grounded. And um, I know this is not a very good um, good uh, example because this is on top of the car boot. But anyway, you get the gist. Um, so let's change this and we should see a change in the VSWR. The best, uh, so we do a main search again. So at this length, uh, roughly about a meter, so we get um, about 927 Mac. So this is a very crude and fast way to do um, uh, antenna check. So how about um, if you have two second antenna to do comparison? So we do recommend to get the um, vector network analyzer mode, NA mode. So with that, um, let's set up two different different display. So go to trace, uh, number of traces. Let's do top and bottom. So as you can see on top is S11 which is um, the reading from uh, port one. And this one, we should change it to port two, S22. Let's go up and down. As you can see right now, it's selected. So if I press up again, you see that uh, trace one is selected. So this is how you change that. So with that um, trace two, then we go to measure, and then we select S22. Okay. This doesn't look much like the VSWR that we know. So we can actually go to format. It's still under measure, format, go to VSWR. Same, let's change to trace one by pressing up. And then we go to make sure that it's S11, then we go to VSWR. Um, and again, this is a 26 and a half gig box. Um, let's lower down the frequency just for the sake of trying. Let's up to six gig. Start 30k, it's all right. Stop. Six. Okay. There we go. So again, same. We go to marker tools, marker search, minimum. So as you can see right now, currently is um selecting um I mean trace one is selected. So for this one, uh, the marker one is at uh, nine hundred mac, well, roughly there because uh, previously this is this wasn't on uh, yeah as you can see if i if i get near to that uh, to that antenna the trace one does change a bit okay so on um, let's go to trace two let's press down and same just go to marker search minimum so this antenna was designed for dual band, 2.4 and also 5.8 gig. So there you go.
so at 5.8 gig, it is according to the manufacturer spec. So again, this is a quite a fast and easy way to do a quick internal test check. All right. So if you want to search again, just press minimum, and then it will just tell you which one is the uh, the best. All right. Thanks for watching.